Good morning. Any chance I can interest you in a story that involves a rare meteorite, explosions, treasure hunters, the search for extraterrestrials, and everyone's favorite airship, the Zeppelin? I thought so. Recently I told you about Planetary Resources, a new commercial venture that aims to mine asteroids for raw materials like platinum and water. The asteroids that they plan to target are a really rare and old type known as carbonaceous chondrites, which date back to the birth of the solar system 4.5 billion years ago. Well, on April 22nd, a meteorite believed to be a piece of one of those very same asteroids slammed into the Earth's atmosphere and exploded in a huge fireball over California and Nevada, causing a sonic boom that could be heard from Sacramento to Las Vegas. Scientists and collectors are eager to get their hands on pieces of this meteorite, which experts estimate was roughly the size of a minivan before it broke up. But while treasure hunters have to search for fragments on foot, NASA and the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute have teamed up to scan the ground from above. To do this, they've chartered the only operating Zeppelin in North America. The helium-filled Eureka, which is slightly longer than a Boeing 747, started cruising scientists over the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains last week at an altitude of about 300 meters. They're looking for evidence of impact, but even in a Zeppelin, it could take a while because the fall area is about 400 square kilometers. Zeppelins, by the way, not the same thing as blimps, even though both are considered airships. Unlike blimps, Zeppelins have a light, rigid internal frame. So don't go around calling the Eureka a blimp. So I'm sure by now you're wondering why SETI is involved in the search for meteorites. Well, carbonaceous chondrites usually contain not only water, but also organic molecules, sometimes including fun stuff like sugars and amino acids, which are, of course, key ingredients for life. So a piece of this ancient rock could yield important clues to the origin of life, terrestrial and otherwise. The largest fragment discovered so far weighs about 19 grams, about the same as a AA battery. Do you live near the impact zone? Are you prowling around for fragments in the Sierras? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you find a piece, you could always send it to me. I promise to display it prominently on the wall. Thank you for watching this episode of SciShow News. If you have questions or suggestions, please leave them below in the comments or on Facebook or Twitter. We'll see you later.